one more topic to talk about, and that is tensions. Um, tension processing. So this is a question that I would ask you a bigger room. Who's ever felt tension at work? All right, everyone. Um, who has a concrete, specific, and reliable way to resolve those tensions? Probably no one. Um, we think of tensions as negative. It's really, the, we, the reason we use the word tension here is because we want to reclaim the idea that a tension is bad. A tension is simply something that is stretched. It means to stretch. That's the, the etymology of the word. Um, so I want to, I want to talk a little bit, uh, spend a few minutes talking about tension processing. In most organizations, talking about tensions is avoided because we think the tensions is bad, and we're helpless to do anything about it anyway, so let's just not think about that because that will just be easier and safer and less stress. But what if we could reverse that narrative? What if we could turn tensions into the things that make the organization stronger? Just like when you go to the gym, progressive overload, lifting weights, bigger muscles, this is how organizations can increase their capacity. And the only way to do it that I know of is for people, not roles, to sense tensions in their roles and then make changes to, to affect the organization. So we make it healthy to process tensions. So in Holacracy, attention describes a person's felt sense that there's a gap between the current reality and a potential future. It's just a feeling that something could be different. Maybe we need a new role. Maybe the garbage isn't getting taken out. You know, anything like that. The tension itself is just a raw, felt sense of dissonance before we label it as positive or negative. Call an organism that has no tension. Dead. Dead, Dead. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly it. Tensions are the stuff of life. Without tension, nothing happens. Tensions are the fuel for organizational change. And tensions are valuable. Um, so to quote the Constitution, you are responsible for monitoring how your roles, purpose, and accountabilities are expressed and comparing that to your vision of their ideal potential expression to identify gaps between the current reality and a potential you sense. Each gap is a tension. You are also responsible for trying to resolve those tensions by using the authorities and other mechanisms available to you under this constitution. So Holacracy gives you quite a few ways to process attention. We're not gonna go through all of this, but I just wanna put this up to show you that there are many pathways and that you're not helpless. I'm not just asking you to sense attention and then sit with it forever. Um, we can talk a little bit about this. That's right, and that's a really good distinction. Is this a personal tension or is it an organizational tension? Right there, that alone could change your whole, your whole organization. Um, so something happens in the world, you sense attention, and now you ask yourself, it, does it affect somebody else's role? Well now, tell them, pitch them. Give them an argument for why it makes sense to them to care about that. Not why you think they should, but why does it make sense for their role? Appeal to their role, right? So it's not about, it's not about you know, vomiting your problems on someone. It's about getting, getting their, get, like seeing if you can get them to understand. Um, and if they don't, great. You know, then you can't do anything with that. Now is it really your tension? It's, this, is, this just gets into all this kind of stuff about vulnerability and personal boundaries and um, if it affects your role, okay, well then we're on to something. And in the tactical meeting, we've basically got it broken down to four things. Do you need information? Do you want to share information? Do you need resources? Or do you need someone else to do something? This is really what every request comes down to. And it might seem oversimplified, but once you actually start working with this system, it really all comes down to those four things. And then if you want to change the roles, you go to a governance meeting. If you want to expect something on an ongoing basis, make a new role. So drastically oversimplified, but I just want to show you that Holacracy doesn't just ask you to sense your tensions and then, and then leave you helpless. There are many pathways to process tensions.